I know how important my iPhone is for me to be able to see my screen anytime I need to. I don't want the brightness just to automatically turn down on me. So I can even imagine what other people are using their phone for and how important it is for you to see your screen. So we're going to go ahead and show you all the steps to go ahead and take care of this for you if it's possible to fix. Wait, it's not 100%? No, it's not 100% because it can't be 100%. Let me explain real quick, and you do not want to skip ahead. This isn't an intro. We're getting right into it. After this, we're going to go ahead and talk about all the steps, so make sure you watch the whole video. It's really important. So to start, after we are done going through all these steps I have, there is a chance that this may not fix it. And why is that? It's because your phone is basically a computer, and it needs to survive. And if it finds that it is overheating, and the phone can't handle the heat of what you're doing, the phone is going to make adjustments. It's going to lower the speed of the phone. It's going to dim the screen. It's going to do these things even though you have the options turned off because it doesn't want to burn out the phone, which is good because we don't want the phones to be a brick. They're no help to us then. But basically to take away, if your phone is getting really hot, you know, I've seen people working on roofs in the sun all day and their screens always dim. This is why, because their phone heats up and because their phone's hot, it won't change the brightness. But if that's not the case, I'm going to show you all the ways I know to fix this so you don't have this problem. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, go ahead and join us by hitting that subscribe button. I've been messing with iPhones since the very first one, and I try to give you all the knowledge that I have, <laughs> if you want it or not. <laughs> and with that, let's go ahead and dive right in and try to get this fixed for you. So a common way to check your brightness real quick is just pull down from the top right, and then you have a brightness mode here. You can higher or lower it wherever you want. And if you're looking for brighter, go there. But if your brightness is turning off automatically then and getting dimmer, then something else is going on. So to check this, let's first start by going into settings. In settings, we're going to go ahead and choose display and brightness. Now you've probably already been in here. This slider here is the same one we just looked at. Now you're not going to see my phone get dim and bright because I'm using a program to put it on the computer. So that's why that's not changing for you. But with True Tones, they do have something underneath it here that basically says automatically adapt iPhone display based on ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear consistent in different environments. If you have this turned on, there's a good chance that this will go ahead and lower your brightness as well. I like it because it gives the screen a more vibrant look, but if you don't want it on, go ahead and turn it off. That's another thing that could be causing your screen to get brighter. It's not the main thing, but it could be something to take care of it if the other things don't fix it. That's all we have inside this. Yeah, it's it stuff's in different places. So let's go ahead and go out to settings. And now what I want to do is go to do not disturb. If you click on do not disturb, I have this and it's scheduled. So at certain times, 11 p.m. at night to 7.50 a.m., it automatically goes and do not disturb so it doesn't wake me up. With that said, what I do is I have the dim lock screen turned on. So if this is on or if this is scheduled, your dim lock screen could be dimmed. How you can tell quickly is just pull down from the top and the moon here, the moon is the do not disturb. So if your moon's on, that's do not disturb. And that could be dimming your lock screen if you have this option turned on. So if that's the case and you don't want that on, go ahead and flick it off and then that part will take care of it. Back at settings, we're gonna go ahead and look at auto brightness. How is it turning on automatically? So if it's just dimming randomly for you and it's not an issue with heat, then it's probably in the iPhone settings under accessibility. Under accessibility, you wanna go ahead and choose display and text size, scroll down, and at the very bottom, hidden is auto brightness. So you can go ahead and turn that off if you have it on you most likely have it on i just flicked it and my screen just actually went dimmer so now if i'm getting it automatically and it's just doing it you want to go ahead and turn that off what's happening is your screen can tell how much light is around you so it's automatically adjusting the screen so it's not extra bright and the reason it does that is to save battery 
So by turning this off, you are risking more of your battery going quicker over a lifespan, but you won't have your screen automatically dimming all the time. I tried to deal with it, couldn't do it, had to turn it off. <laughs> so with that, I would go ahead and turn that off and give it a try. That should take care of it as long as your phone is not overheating. Once you have all those settings taken care of, you should be good. If for some reason you're not, I would restart your phone, especially if you haven't restarted your phone in a while, because sometimes it could also be a problem with your phone. I'd close out your apps by going up and to the right and then just go ahead and taking every app and just pushing it up. And now go ahead and close it. If this worked for you, please do me a favor, leave the message down below which tip worked for you so we know. And if you see someone that already posted it, please upvote it. That way we can go ahead and get a quick fix from now on. Thanks for the view. And here's some more information about the Do Not Disturb if you want to check it out, the moon. It is so easy for people to go ahead and turn it on, especially if you have kids playing with your phone. So check out the Do Not Disturb video. I think it will definitely help you out.